Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to the Asian Program Releases. Now we we'll continue with the Zoodle.js uh, tutorial series. Today we're going to see how to work with action cards. Okay, these are card views with, of course, action buttons right here. So, for instance, you can see the first one we have right here a slightly smaller card. It has, of course, an image right here. It has, of course, the title. We have the subtitle. Then we have two buttons. Then, of course, we have the content. These are card view right here. And of course, if you come, click, for instance, action one button, you can see you can perform action one. Then, of course, action two right here, you can also perform action two. So you can see it's a card with images, text, and of course, uh, action buttons. The next one right here is a slightly larger card right here. Of course, it has the title at the top, then the subtitle. Then, of course, it has uh, this one right here. Now we can easily select a button. For instance, if you click it, you can see we can handle. Now we are handling these item clicks using, of course, our view JS. Then, of course, we have our image, a large image. Then, of course, we have, of course, our content over there. So you can see these are cards that we are going to be uh, seeing. Okay, so let's proceed on. Now the first step, the first thing we're going to do. Head over right here to our site, campusha.info. We have, of course, a guide that we're going to be using right here. So you can see we have several tutorials. Other, of course, uh, Vue.js material design tutorials. Now today we're covering this one right here. So view material view. Uh, right here. So we go ahead, click it. Material view cards, images, text, and action buttons. Okay. So. You can see right here, this is our content uh, section, intro, dependencies, code and demo, download. Then also, of course, we have links to, of course, our YouTube channel right here. Now, let's jump straight in, of course, to our dependencies. The first thing, by the way, we're going to be using code, uh, code pen.io. Now, we shall come to it in a short while. But first, just uh, take note that these are the dependencies that we're going to be adding right here. First, the CSS dependencies, we're going to be fetching them, of course, from our CDN. So we have the view material.css. This is going to give us our material design field, of course, in our site. Then, of course, the font family, we have our material icons that we're going to be using. Then, of course, we have the font f uh, type right here. Of course, the robot right here. Okay. Then, those are our CSS that we shall be fetching, of course, from uh, our CDN URLs. Then also we have, of course, our material, uh, our JavaScript libraries. We have two of them. First, we have the coreview.js. We're going to be fetching the mini uh, minified version, view.min.js, of course, from our CDN right here. Then, of course, we have the view material. We shall be fetching the latest view material. This is, of course, the library that's going to give us the material design field. Okay. Then, of course, our view dot min dot js this of course is the core view dot js uh, library it's a client side javascript library so you can see this is of course our code now if you want to edit it of course right here we have it also right here you can see action one then of course action two we also have of course uh, these ones right here so if you want to edit it just come right here this one we will be using uh, this online by the code pen .io. It's an online IDE for JavaScript. This one why I've chosen to use it is because it allows me to easily share code with you guys. You can come and then edit uh, our code right here and then of course run it without needing to install anything. Moreover, it's very fast. So, first you can see this of course is our interface. We have the HTML section, CSS section javascript section as well as of course our result right here the first thing we're going to do we're going to add those dependencies we saw so take note this one will be generating of course the html the title and the head tag so if you wanted to add some stuff in the header section you can go ahead and add them right here okay because in fact if we come right here you can see we have only the div so if you have other content you want to add Let's come, we come, we add them right here. CSS, we come right here, and of course, those particular dependencies we said. Okay. Well, our font family, as well as our material icons, then of course, our view material.css. We add them right there. Then, of course, in the JavaScript section, we also come, add the view.min.js, our core view.js library, 
as well as the view material this is going to give us our material design of course in our app so that's it now in the css section we come right here we're going to give our content a padding of 20 pixels so go ahead and that one right there then of course if we come right here you can see these are html at the root we have of course our div tag we've given it an id app id so take note in a javascript we come view.views we're using the view material library then var app we insert our view then of course you are passing in an object all right now our element we coming right here we are selecting this one app id this is going to be our element we are targeting then of course the methods we going to have one method right here is a function we're calling grid is taking in a message okay a variable we are calling message then it's going to display it in an alert dialog so we come right here first we're going to have the toolbar this is our toolbar right here with the title material view card views then we're going to have our content section so content section you can see we have this piece of text then of course we have of course uh, the layout for our cards now you can see the card views right here we have uh, two card views side by side so come define the layout right here okay the first one we're going to have our card right here you can see the card first the image we're fetching our image right here from online this is the image right here that we're fetching okay we have it under the md card media section then of course we have the header right here the header by the this one let me just uh, scroll it down now this is the header right here okay we have the header title goes here then subtitle goes here this is the subtitle so we have them right there then of course we have the actions okay we have the action buttons so action buttons we have the action one and then action two you can add as many buttons as you like then lastly we have the content section so this is by the first card we have some piece of text right here in our content section that's our first piece of card now the second one we're going to move right here to our second layout we have md card right here okay so this is our md card our second card view first of course this same round we're starting with the header so md card header we have the header text title as well as the subtitle apart from that one we're going to have of course uh the image no we have uh, this one right here our menu so in our menu we have two items we have the two menu items the call and then of course the phone uh, the uh, send message right here so take note of these our menu items now how are we handling our item clicks well we simply come right here at click.native then we pass in the function that shall be called when that particular menu item is clicked for instance the call when clicked we call display we call this grid function which hence will display the alert uh, dialog the same thing of course with the send message okay in fact that's the same thing we did right here if we get noticed for our action buttons right here at click dot native grid action one grid action two that's it okay then if we continue the second card after the menu we have of course the image now take note of course our images we are fetching them from online then of course we have the content section as the last part of this our second card view that's it then of course you save then of course you can come right here go to full page to view it or for me you can come right here come to the uh, debug mode so if i came to the debug mode you can see right here we have our stuff okay you can see we're able to handle of course the item click events of our action buttons also for the menu right here we are able to handle the menu items of course of our card this is it this is it this is what we've looked at of course the source code shall be is attached in our website campusha.info so you can go ahead and download the source code from over there we have a link you can go ahead and download it right there otherwise it gives make sure you subscribe to our channel we do post our video tutorials regularly 
we started doing javascript we're going to be doing a lot of javascript okay vue.js and of course our other javascript frameworks make sure you get subscribe and also like the video share it and also take care i'll catch you in the next class